So did anyone else see Paul Joseph Stalin going to Austin, Texas to complain about the seafood there? First off, who goes to Austin, Texas and thinks, man, I really gotta try the seafood? I mean, maybe you do that in Louisiana or, or Massachusetts or Maine where seafood's big. Maybe you do that in Japan. You go, I really gotta try the seafood. But in Texas, Texas, the America of America, that's where you got. That's where you go and say, "I really got to try the fish here, here in Austin, Texas." I was actually in Austin, Texas last month for a few days, and I hit three, three barbecue restaurants, all of which were delicious. Probably missed out on 20, 30, 40 other barbecue restaurants I could have went to. But hey, you only have so much time in three days. Also went to a Tex-Mex restaurant, which was really good. Went to a brewery in Austin, Texas, which didn't have great food, the brewery, but it had great beer. The beer was delicious. So uh, I wasn't about to get on social media and complain about this place to take a picture and bitch about the food when the beer was good. Thing with bar food, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's just crap. But yeah, going to Texas to complain and, and then getting sea, seafood and then complaining about the food. Complaining about the food in Austin, Texas, that's like going to Las Vegas and ordering a PBR or some crappy beer and then complaining and saying that all of the booze in Las Vegas tastes like crap. It's like, no, there's plenty of stuff to mock in Las Vegas. There's plenty of stuff to joke about in Las Vegas. The booze isn't one of them. If you're drinking bad booze in Las Vegas, that's on you. And like, I, I just, I, I think that's, I think that Paul Joseph Watson was going out of his way to be... Uh, outrage. To, he was going out of his way to rant about something, which I get. I get going to seek out material and seeking out things to joke about and rant about. I did that over the weekend. I actually went to San Francisco for the first time over the weekend, and uh, I was only there for a few days, but I decided to check out the Hate Ashbury District, which for those who don't know, it was the epicenter uh, for the hippie movement, the counterculture of the 60s. It's where Janis Joplin and Jefferson Airplane lived. Apparently, Charles Manson used to hang out there before he went really crazy. I guess he was always crazy, but, you know, before he did all the murdering stuff, Charles Manson. Well, he didn't murder anyone. He just told people to murder stuff. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, but I went there to look for stuff to joke about, to rant about, and I found plenty of material, but that's besides the point. Paul Joseph Watson was just looking for stuff to... That was it? That was the level? What a bore. What up, Squidward? Zemo says, I ate an awesome burger with sriracha sauce on it in Austin once. You were in, you've been to Austin before, Zemo? Not sure why Watson would go out of his way to order something he didn't like in a place he thought was pretentious. Yeah, that's another thing is uh, when I was in Austin, I actually went into a store that sold Che Guevara dolls. Wanted to spit on the floor. I didn't, but uh, they, they sold Che Guevara dolls. Um, and, and it was part of this doll line called, uh, Little Thinkers. And they, they also had Rosie the Riveter, and I think, um, I think Thomas Edison, and I think Mark Twain, if I remember correctly. And I remember, I took a picture and saying, well, Che Guevara definitely was not a big thinker. But the fact that this store would sell, uh, a doll of a, of a murderous communist... That's something that that'd be legitimately that that'd be legitimate to rant about. But even in Los Angeles, you know, which is liberal and a lot of places are pretentious and and snobby, so to speak, very liberal city. Plenty of great places to eat in Los Angeles. <laughs>